Today we are here with Josh. Josh has been working with us for about 12 weeks now. Um, and he's got an awesome story. Josh, thanks so much for doing this for My us. Pleasure. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So uh, Josh, tell us a little bit about, um, you know, what was going on with you, how you were feeling before you decided to, to, to reach out. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a lot of stuff, a lot of persistent stuff. Um, and a lot of, um, uh, a lot of somewhat debil debilitating stuff, actually. I had, I'll just kind of run down the list. Um, I had this chronic pain in my elbow um, that um, I got through like working a, working a job in a clothing store where you had to like push racks of clothing around, do all kinds of lifting all, all day, like um, constantly be re-racking clothes. So it was basically like I was doing these awkward movements and then like, I just got this radiating pain in my uh, elbow where it was also pain and weakness where like it got to where I actually couldn't lift stuff up from a lot of angles, like lifting a suitcase. Nah, that was, that was like not happening. It just, it felt like all the muscles had dropped out of my arm. It was, it was pretty messed up. And that was, that was chronic. And I remember trying to work out with a punching bag during that. Nope. Nope one little contact just uh, i can't even say it was like it was like an eight and a half level of pain for the tiniest of movements or like contacts it was messed up and then on top of that for years and years from practicing guitar and being hunched over my whole arm felt like one long piece of petrified wood it just like it was semi-numb it was barely flexible and all this fucking crap built up up here, all this tightness and playing guitar. My fingers are all stiff and, and all this. And it was on the other side too. It was just like uh, from years and years of very tense, very poorly postured guitar practice and working as a web developer being scrunched over that. You can do that stuff and have like good posture and practice, but I just, I just simply did not. And feeling the stress of those situations, that stress just became built into me physically. And then on top of that, I had skateboarding inju injuries from a long time ago where my right knee was in more or less constant discomfort <clears throat> and where my right leg did, felt um, like did not have the strength that my other leg had and did not, I just didn't feel supported or stable there. And, uh, and all this actually led up to me like becoming somewhat or, or very like physically timid where I didn't want to like lift heavy stuff. I didn't want to like any longer like engage in like different kinds of physical, physical activities, even doing yoga. I like treaded really lightly so that I wouldn't like, so I wouldn't like pull something or engage the wrong kind of thing. And by the way, when this started happening with my elbow, I couldn't do yoga. I couldn't like, you're gonna do you can't do like downward dog when your when your right arm just doesn't work it just, it just isn't happening so like so those are like the main things and um oh and also you know i'm not a, a, i'm not a young kid anymore you know i'm a i'm, I'm an adult you know i'm i'm entering like serious adult age let's let's just put it that way and so like even like stuff like getting down on the ground to like scrub the floor, like crouching down to pick up some stuff. Like I started feeling like way more, way much more wear and tear and like less mobility. It was like kind of depressing to like bending down to get something out from like under the sink was like, you know, you get, uh, uh, like, you know, it was like, <laughs> I don't know how to describe that, but you're, you feel locked up and weak when you're trying to do like these regular household tasks. So anyway, like that's where I was and probably some other stuff too. Right. Yeah. I think they call that feeling like I'm old. Yo, feeling like I'm old and I, I'm, I'm, I'm not old, but I felt like I was old. And like, I, I did not want to become a guy who when he reaches his 50s, 60s, or even 70s is like, oh, everything hurts all the time. Cause like a lot of people who are getting on in years, they'll say to you, everything hurts, you'll see. And I'm like, nah, I just do not want that to be me. I don't think it has to be me and I don't want that. And then, um, so when all that stuff was kind of coming to a head, like those kinds of thoughts combined with the things that was going, were going on with my body, 
that's when I started paying attention uh, to what you're up to and to what your, you know, you, your, uh, your business is all about and like the services you provide, you know. I started taking notice and I was like, huh, this might be for me. Cool. Yeah. So what were um, a couple of things that you felt like we really helped you out with, stuff that you learned that was able to turn some of that stuff around throughout the process of, of working together? Um, definitely, a, definitely like a combination of things. One of it, one of the things that really, really helped was I could tell from the very beginning of doing this with you that this was going to be the thing for me. Like the way you described it, and when I watched your Instagram videos, the kind of movements you were doing, I was like, wait a minute, I can kind of see how that really could help me along from like feeling so debilitated to like getting where I wanted to go. And like uh, some of the movements that I'm doing now, I saw on your, on your Instagram videos and I was like, man, it would be so cool to be able to do that, but I just can't do that. This sucks. But then I was like, you know, but I was like, you know, the hell with it. Let's give it a shot. And then once we got to talking, I was like, yep, this is for me. I really think this is going to do the trick. So having that attitude and that belief helped a lot. And then just incrementally stepping up the exercises. I mean, getting the joints rotating for one thing, I could feel where the problems were. You, you begin building up awareness of your body really, really quickly. And you can see, not only do you, can you pinpoint the other structures that are affecting your debilitated or painful area, well, that's one thing right there. You can feel how everything combines. Um, and the problem is here, all right, where you're feeling the pain, but it's elsewhere as well. You know, you've got other blockages um, or problems surrounding that area. And once you get into these, these movements, you get to feel where everything is. And, um, you know, and that awareness of it just puts you and your body in a more unified place. And you're really just able to start working it out. And the more you do it, and it happens pretty quickly, the more you do it, the more you become aware of your body and what's going on. Um, and there, there are many different, um, movements that we've gone through that have helped so much um the joint rotations have been huge and that's just the first like you know we went over those in the first week like that was just that was almost just like dipping like the dipping your toes in stage and that stuff helped incredibly and i do that every day now and then like kicking just like the small forward kicks and the stomps like those loosened up my legs and other stuff to loosen up my pelvis, like, uh, I mean, my hips rather. And like, I can sit cross-legged comfortably now. And it's like, it just really helps my mobility. Like if you think of all those places on your body that are really bound up, once you get them loose, once you get awareness of them, and once you like really understand what they're about, and once you've moved through them a lot and, you know, done it every day, everything physically becomes easier. I mean, I play guitar now and this, this is all fucking freed up. Like this felt like a block of fucking wood, like, and not in a strong way, just in like this fucking block of wood is like really brittle and it's about to break. You know, that's what it felt like, like some like semi-paralyzed brittle stuff. But now I'm playing guitar, like my, my feelings are just like, the way it feels is a lot more loosey-goosey. These fingers have loosened up a bunch and I'm getting around like a lot more like the way I used to on it. And so it's really helped with that a lot and um oh and um so the pain in my elbow gone like completely gone the persistent pain and discomfort in my knee from the skateboarding industry uh, it, uh, uh injury from long ago gone um and everything is just easier and i'm learning more and more sort of advanced movements and i'm consistently like amazed at like these new graceful, like almost impossible looking moves that look like stuff from a Kung Fu movie. And I'm like, yeah, I'm doing these moves. You know what I mean? It's just like, and when you're doing them, you're like, oh yeah, that's, that's, that's healing my shoulder even more. Like this is helping my back even more. Cause like on my job, I sometimes like do something dumb, lifting something. And then, you know, there's 
there's a fucking event back there. There's a, there's a problem back there, like some kind of new problem. I'm like, oh man, this is going to be a, you know, but like Bagua, these movements that we do, all this stuff prevents it from being a problem. I, I hurt my shoulder at work a few weeks ago. And I was like, man, this feels like one of them big injuries. But I was like, nah, I really, I really think that just doing my Bagua stuff is going to fix it. And it, it fixed it really, really quickly. Back in the day, when I didn't have a practice like this, I've had those kinds of injuries and they become persistent problems if you don't deal with them expediently and mindfully. Not an, I mean expediently like rush, but you know, you attend to them um, before they become a problem. And you do it mindfully by understanding and being aware of your body and just these, these, this stuff just works really, really well. Not only for managing pain, healing, healing painful stuff, but anything new that comes up that I've encountered, you know, I'm rough and tumble, I get hurt, probably more than the average person just because of the way I live. But like, it's so easy to prevent any of that stuff from becoming an actual problem. You're just able to attend to yourself. So. That's, that's like music to my ears, brother. I yeah. seriously, cause that's, it's hard to convey that to people that don't really relate to that, but uh, that's the biggest thing. So that was really great. Thank you for sharing that, man. Uh, if you, uh, I guess if you had a piece of advice, like one piece of advice to give somebody who's thinking about getting started with this or sort of on the fence, not sure, you know, what, what would you tell them? I would tell them that, you know, hopefully, if we're lucky, we'll have really, really long lives. If we're lucky, we'll live to be in our late 70s, 80s, 90s, maybe longer. And like me, like myself, and so many people like my age, I'll just address that first. People are having aches and pains, like people have aches and pains. And like, you don't need to go down that road. This is stuff you can deal with. You don't have to live a life where like you're encumbered by these accumulated pains and physical inhibitions and problems. You can go a different route. You can like go the route, the route of developing a practice that's gonna prevent the progression of that stuff. Cause I know many elderly people and most of them are like, very impaired in their mobility and a lot of chronic pain but i also know some elderly people who have done these kinds of practices and they can like fly up a flight of stairs they can like carry some heavy shit and like you know fucking they they they're they're spry i don't know like they've got they've got the energy to do it they're not they're not walking around moaning and groaning and huffing and puffing i know elderly people who have had these kinds of practices and they don't have those problems. Yeah. They have a hell of a lot more energy. They do what they, they still get to do what they want to do. And that's because of the practice. And you got the people who didn't tend to this stuff and they're in pretty bad shape. And then you've got people who do and they're in the shape that they want to be. So that's for me. That's, that's, this is my ticket to that. And I've got, full faith that it's working and it's going to continue working and that as the years go by i'm still going to be doing what i want to do um and uh uh what do you call it man i went on, on in that for so long that I, <laughs> like, it's all good. but yeah that and like you know it's just the, the, the things that i do playing music and stuff this is just so so much better being at my job i'm I'm so much more equipped to do it. I've got more energy and like, you know, the benefits just keep stacking up. And, um, you know, and I do my best to be consistent in my practice. It's, it's kind of hard because my job is fairly grueling and like I'm often at the end of the day, just like, I'm, I'm just like, you know, wow, that was a lot. But I still make time every day for my practice and it helps. Like, it truly does like 
if I, I'll put it this way. If I do some of this stuff, like just as a wake up before I go to work, that work day is fucking really great. That work day is like really great. If, if I, if, if I, if I am sure to incorporate it into my day, like that's going to be a much better day than um, a day that I don't tend to it. Or even a day that like I haven't had time for it before work. If I'm just in tune with my body in that kind of way and pay attention, it's just, I have a lot more, I just have a lot more fuel for the day. And um, it's just completely different than when you're at work and you feel bogged down and you're like, ugh, how am I gonna make it through this day? Like, it's, it's, it's crazy. Like no one should live their life saying, how am I gonna get through this day? You know? physically or spiritually or and all that stuff and this is and this is how i'm taking care of that and it's working out it's working out yeah. well i think a lot of people can relate to that more, the more people i speak to these days like yeah i have this back issue or this thing and i have no energy so i think that's like you know one of the things that sort of covers this so man thank you so much for all that it was super uh, awesome story um and it's been amazing seeing you progress and, and I look forward to continuing yeah. to work with you, man. Ah, uh, me too. This is great. We're gonna keep going forward. I'm excited about it. I have all the faith in the world about it. Cool. Well, yeah. listen guys, if, uh, if you're interested, reach out, get in touch with us. And uh, thank you so much for, for taking the time to watch this and we will talk to you guys soon. Take care. Peace.